This is video number 558. I want God's presence more than anything else. I have this very rich friend. I think actually in this season of my life, I would, la would like to label him as my best friend. He totally dislikes people just being around him in the shape of gold diggers. Even more, he dislikes women just being in his life as they see him as a meal ticket. I try my best to respect him in this regard. I'm doing Lent with one of my sweetest, gentlest, submarine friends. She's got very deep thoughts. One of the short videos we watched together daily was about how much of your life have you surrendered to God? I realized that I have only surrendered about 70% of my life to God. I bombard him with requests. Please help me with this. Please provide this with me for me. Then afterwards, I love thanking him, praising him, as this is one of the main purposes of this YouTube channel. Praising God, bragging with everything he has done for me. But I realized I do not really enjoy him. I decided I want to go on dates with him. I want to enjoy him. I want to tell I want him to tell me about his day. I want to ask God, how are you doing today? This is why I started with my story about my wealthy friend. If I just asked him for buying if I just asked him to buy me this or buy me that, he would most probably amputate the friendship. But I constantly try and just enjoy. Enjoy his stories, enjoying him reading me a chapter from his soul weekly. I realized that I've also in the past asked God, how was he doing? Then I had this epiphany moment. I just want to pause on this topic. I started praying that God would switch on the Bible nerd switch in my life. So I launched a campaign to thoroughly study Proverbs. Currently, I need more wisdom. In the first six verses of Proverbs, Solomon lists five different types of wisdom. I made it easier for myself. One, the first one in Hebrew is Chokma. I think this is an all-compassing, comp all all-inclusive type of wisdom. This is a spiritual infusion. This is how you obtain this kind of wisdom. I'm sure it includes emotional intelligence, normal intelligence, etc. Number two is inside. I think this includes epiphanies, eureka moments, those aha moments, those 3IM, 3IM, 3IM type of wisdom moments where you have full clarity in any situation. Number three, I think number three is philosophy. Philosophy literally means the love of wisdom. Eve desired to eat of the fruit of wisdom. This desire is actually the first time the word is listed in the Bible. Number four, subtlety. This one is this one I'm still arm wrestling with, as this is a tool to be more clever than somebody else. A little bit of manipulation, it sounds to me, even though I know manip manipulation is very bad. According to Strong's, trickery, or in a good sense, discretion. Guile, prudence, subtlety, willability, wisdom. Maybe a, maybe a better, more lighter word to, to say this is finding the keys to someone's heart. Number five is knowledge and discretion. The ability to make a plan. I think this is where creativity comes into the picture. So based on this layout, I had number two with my prayer request. Please tell me, Lord. Tell me how you are doing. I have for almost a year now picked up that I get patterns. Sometimes a specific number will resurface in my life. Other times the same problem will resurface. This is my answer. I believe this is how God is answering my question. How are you doing? Lastly, I do not desire only to have God as a meal ticket. I want more. I want more romantic dates with Him. Like this picture on the beach with dinner for two. This is my new request that I'm sending up to the heavenlies. And like Michael 7 verse 7, I'm very excited to see what he will be doing.